Hello everyone, thanks for joining me today. I have three card projects to share with you, and yes, they are Christmas. And let's get started with the products I used for this first card. I used this die of a Christmas tree, or a tree from Hobby Lobby. This die from Tuesday morning. I used the Magnolia Doohickey Little House die. The Townscape by Tim Holtz. I used a stitched border die and also the Lawn Fawn stitched mountains. Okay, first card. This is a dimensional card. I'm referring to it as a, oh, what should I call it? A um, dimensional pop up card. Okay, and this is what it looks like. I did use my Copics and colored the trees. I uh, punched them out first of cards, the white cardstock, and then colored those in with my Copics. And this opens up like this. It's so cute. The paper I used is a brand new paper pad. It's by Recollections. Is it? Let's see. Uh, yes, and this is the paper pad that is in the stores now. So I did a lot of layering, and like I said, I'm going to attach a tutorial, uh, a separate video, because this one's going to be kind of long because I have three cards to show you, on how to make the box, and, or, yes, the box card, and also how to make the envelopes. Uh, as you'll see, all three cards are the same style, and um, some of them are a little bit more dimensional on the front, like uh, this one and I'll show you how to make the envelope to accommodate that. So as you can see on the back, I added the uh, mountains, and I used gray cardstock and then capped it with the white cardstock. There on the back, you can see the Tim Holtz die with a row of houses. I did back the little windows with uh, some gold cardstock to make it look like they were glowing. And then I added two stitched um, uh, hillsides in the back, as you can see. And then on the next layer, which is the centerpiece, I added a snow hill there as well. And that is attached in the back, uh, back here. And then on the, I added this little house, which was the doohickey die, but I just cut cut it apart. I just used this panel here and this panel here because this folds up and, oh, excuse me, I used this part here and this part here and just cut off the rest so that way I could just have a flat piece because this is a dimensional um, little house. So then I added more trees and in the front here's another, in the front here's another little house which I backed again in the gold paper to simulate a light coming from the house. And then the uh, snowflake die, I just added it behind this panel here. And I'm gonna show you the inside at this angle. And then again on this angle so you can kind of see how things are glued into place. Now, I'm not gonna do a process video, um, just the construction of the box itself. So there's my first card. And I just want to show you the envelope real quick. I did make this into a dimensional envelope and I needed a quarter inch to accommodate the bow on the card. So that's, I'll show you how to do that. Okay, my second one, I tell you they get cuter and cuter as they go by. But uh, my second card, uh, so same thing, I had items on the front that were dimensional so I had made another little uh, dimensional envelope. This is adorable, you guys. It is a Rudolph um, stamp set, and this is available now at Michael's. And I used the reindeer Rudolph and the Cornelius and the little trees for this card. I also used some of the branches from this uh, Sizzix Thinlets, and it is available at Hobby Lobby. 
And then I use my Spellbinder dies to cut the front shape of my card or the, the openings. This one I used a, um, let's see which, let me see. I used this set to cut the shape on the boxes. You can use any shape that you like on your cards. Ooh, okay, so the next one is so cute. I can't help myself. It's so stinking cute. So same process. Just layer your items on each um each dimensional section and you can come up with something spectacular so I stamped the little trees with green um, memento ink and it leaves the little snow caps on the trees for you I colored up Rudolph with my Copics I added glossy accents to his eye and then little Cornelius here same thing colored it up with my Copics um, I used the sprigs or Christmas greens that I got at Hobby Lobby and once again I use the mountain caps on the back and you just be creative and and uh, what I did was I kind of laid everything out and then I took a picture uh, and that way I could remember how where or and how I positioned everything so that's my second card now my third card I used the circle dies from Diamond Dies to make the opening of my uh, card and then I could not resist I had to get these stamps from my favorite things and it is called Beast Friends and this is what I used and then I just used the large snowflake on, on just a little section of my card okay so here's the envelope. This one is just a flat envelope because I didn't have any embellishments on the front. So, oh my gosh, this one is my favorite, I think. So there it is. Oh my gosh. Okay, I can't help myself. So the paper I used, the cardstock I purchased at Joann's. They have the glittery cardstock. I just got the the blue, and then when I colored him up, I made him like a frosty face. Uh, kind of a in my the blue tones and colored him colored all three of the yetis um, this yeti here uh, when I attached him to let me see if my camera's not focusing okay I think it's because okay so this yeti here when I stamped him out and colored him I went ahead and sliced his little arm that way I could insert him in the round shape and make him look like he was peeking out. And then the trees, I uh, colored those up with my Copics as well. I did use, let me bring this in closer. I did use, um, come on, glossy accents on the light bulbs to make them look like they were really popping and it gave them a little glass look. And yep, that's it. I stamped Are You Yeti for Christmas at the top. This is the snowflake I used and just cut in half and um, added to the back of this panel here. Okay, guys, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I mean, not tutorial, but uh, video. If you did, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. And like I said, I will do a separate video on how to construct the box for this project. And once again, don't forget to leave me comments. I love to read them and to uh, give me thumbs up if you in, are enjoying the card series that I am doing for Christmas. So, oh, well, I wanted to tell you the ribbon on these two cards are available at Michael's as well. This is the striped red and white ribbon that I used on this one. And this is the ribbon I used uh, on the tree card. And these are the uh, ribbon boutique celebrated at Michael's. So there we go, guys. Thanks everyone for watching and don't forget to leave me a comment. Take care.